Guess where I ended up today? I'll give you a minute to guess. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I know. I went there again, but I went there with intentions of just getting some stuff I wanted slash needed for Alden's birthday. Um, I did get a few goodies and I did get some stuff that we're going to be needing since we are moving in the next couple of weeks. So I'm just going to share everything with you. I'm going to start with the big bag. All right. So I picked up a new room spray because I had one from like last Christmas. It could have been the Christmas before. I really don't go through room sprays quickly like most people. Um, I mean, my fiance complains when I spray anything, whether it's a room spray or perfume. He always says I smell good, but if I spray it around him, he complains that he can't breathe. So whatever. I can't spray this when he's around, but I definitely like any room I'm in to smell good or, you know, if you have to spray the bathroom or something, this will come in handy. I just got the Hawaiian scent. I almost got pumpkin. I love the smell of pumpkin, like the spiciness of it and everything, but I just thought it was weird to spray a room to make it smell like pumpkin. Um, I don't know. I like the smell of pumpkin pie and pumpkin bread. I love the smell of pumpkin, but I, j I, would, I just don't want to spray my room to smell like pumpkin. I do usually like the seasonal scents though, but I lean towards like the winter Christmassy seasonal scents. My last one that I had that I ran out of was like cranberry or something like that. And it smelled really good. It was actually a name brand one from Target. I don't remember the name brand, but since I was there and it's only a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed this and it does smell really good. It's nice and fruity. So it's just good to have on hand. Um, okay. I needed these at Target the other day and completely forgot to get them. So I'm so glad I saw them and it like, dinged in my head like you need those it's a two pack of wet wipes i'm gonna keep one in my purse and keep the other one either in the car or just at home um but it's just the assured brand and it has vitamin e and aloe each pack has 15 wipes so there's 30 total um, i'm just very excited to have these because i always usually carry a pack of these i used to get them all the time in the target travel section and every time I go to Target, I forget anymore. I don't know how or why. My memory is just, it's not with me anymore, you guys. I think I need to start taking ginkgo biloba because my memory is just gone. Um, I just call it my mom brain because ever since I had Alden, like, I have no memory. Um, but I'm very excited about this because Alden always has sticky hands. Or if we go to the park... You know, I'll use hand sanitizer on him, but then his hands are still dirty, so these will get the dirt off of his hands, at least until we can go home and wash them. Very excited about that. I picked up a pack of Band-Aids because we're always needing Band-Aids. This is just a Curad brand, and it's Camp Camo Flex Fabric Band-Aids, and you get 25 of them. Alden loves camo, and I just thought these were really good. They're very, very sticky, so I feel like they stick better than, like, regular Band-Aids. And I thought 25 for a dollar was really good because I feel like most cheap packs of Band-Aids are real chintzy and they don't give you a whole lot. These I just saw as I was passing the hair accessories and I thought they were really cute. Now, I know, I know. When I wear my hair down, which I already know is never, um, I do sometimes like to do a poof in the front of my hair if you guys know what that is like you pull I don't have bangs but you know what I mean like you pull your bangs back and like clip them and you have like this little poof I thought these would be really cute to hold my poof instead of plain bobby pins if I want to like look all fancy so I picked these up I thought they were adorable I really like this one so I got those I also grabbed the scrunchie because it was just really really soft and fuzzy and it's a baby pink and just really cute I grabbed another container of sprinkles because when I made that cake the other day to kind of test run Alden's cake, um, Alden wanted to help me with the sprinkles. And when he was helping me, he ended up dumping the rest of the sprinkles that I was trying to save onto the cake, which was fine. I don't mind. Um, 
So I just, I got more of those because I will probably be making his birthday cake. Um, all right. I did get another pack of paper plates. These have leaves all over them. I thought they were really cute. I was going to get two packs, but then I picked up a pack of happy birthday plates for his birthday and we will use the leftover plates. So I just figured I can always get more fall plates, but I'll just stick to all of these for now. This I'm pretty excited about. I'm not much of a candle person, but sometimes I do like to have a candle going, get the room smelling nice. And when I saw the scent of this, I just knew I had to have it. It smells so nice. And I like that this one is in like a baby mason jar. I can always reuse it once I burn the candle all the way down. Um, this is in toasted marshmallows, which I know my phone doesn't focus on what's right in front of it, so you can't really read it, but it smells really good. I highly recommend you checking it out. The brand on this is Luminescence, um, and it's a three ounce scented candle. All right. And these, I swear, growing up, my grandma used to get a really big tin full of these cookies. Um, it's the Cambridge and Thames Danish style butter cookies. And I, I swear she used to get a really big container of this. She probably still has a container that she saved from these cookies. I, I swear I'm remembering it. And so I'm really hoping these taste as good as I'm remembering because they look really good. And from what I remember, they taste really good. So, and the tin is so cute and you can always reuse this for whatever you want. Or I could give it to Alden and he could keep little stuff in here. Um, now, technically I filmed this earlier, but I didn't like how any of the versions I filmed turned out because it's been another one of those days and I've tried filming this many times. Um, usually the first time I film anything is what you guys get. Like, that's it. Today and yesterday, it's just been one of those days. I'm just not happy with anything. So, um, okay, so these I taste tested with you earlier, but you're not gonna see that. So just pretend I'm taste testing it with you now because I don't feel like trying to chew this really fast because it's just not gonna happen. Anyway, I was gonna pick up another pack of my soft caramels and then I saw these and I'm so glad I picked them up. So they are still my soft caramels, but they're caramel apple flavored. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, you tried the pumpkin spice ones and you weren't a fan. You're right. Those were not that good. They had a really funky aftertaste. And like once you swallowed it, like the taste, out of it like lingers in your mouth. It wasn't terrible, but they're not my favorite. And I have tried these where it's like the harder outer shell caramel and the inside is like the runny apple filling. I'd rather have one consistency when it comes to candy or anything that I eat. I think I have a texture issue because I just can't eat certain things. I even have problems eating mashed potatoes because of the texture. I, I'm weird. I don't know. Anyway, I love that these are just the regular soft caramels that I love, but it has that apple flavor. And I love caramel apples. So I feel like eating this with like a couple of like cashews or peanuts at the same time, it would be just like eating a caramel apple without having to bite into the hard apple because I have trouble eating caramel apples anymore because my teeth suck. Um, so what I typically do when I get caramel apples is I, I cut them off of the stick and I cut little slices and eat it that way because my teeth just, they're so sensitive and I don't want any of them breaking off. So <laughs> anyway, I highly, highly recommend these. I know it's seasonal for fall, so I definitely want to go back and grab several bags to have like stockpiled so that once fall is gone and they take these away I will still have some they're very very good and the bag smells it's like I smell green apples and it's it smells so good so if you guys see those and you're a fan of caramel and you guys like caramel apple I think you would like it if you guys remember those suckers they gave out on Halloween, which I think they still make them. I'm pretty sure I see them at Target still during Halloween. The caramel apple suckers where like the inside is like a hard green apple flavored sucker and then it's covered in caramel. It tastes just like that without the hardness being there, if that makes sense. All right, so that was my big bag. Now let's get into 
last of this little bag. I saw these and I've tried like the Betty Crocker brand I think before. This is just an off brand. It's Continental Chef but it's just a brownie cookie mix and I love brownies and cookies so I thought these would be fun for me and Alden to make. It just takes um, a little bit of butter, an egg, and some water. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I got Alden saying that now. I think it's so funny and cute. Um, since they had some wintry stuff out, I decided to get myself a couple of pairs of gloves because I have a lot of pairs of gloves, but every winter they get lost. I either leave them in coat pockets and the coats get put away, or I don't wear that coat anymore or something. I don't know. I lose a lot of gloves, especially I go, I'm the mom that I don't send my kid out in the snow to play. I go out and play in the snow with him. I'm a very hands-on kind of mom. Like I, I get down on the floor and play with him. I run around and play hide and seek and tag and cops and robbers and all of that stuff. I just, I have fun, you know, and I, I mean, there are days where I want to just kind of sit back and relax and let him play on his own, but I play with him all the time, and I love it. It's fun, and little boys are so fun. I feel like if I ever have more kids, I would love to just have boys because I love being a boy mom. I'm, I feel like I'm good at it. Um, as much fun as little girls are, I do have two nieces, and, and I know buying clothes for them is fun, but I just... I want all boys, okay? Anyway, so I got these um, texting gloves. So they have the little gray fingers so you can text with, which I really don't text when I have my gloves on, but I guess if I want to check my phone for the time or something, I got these. And then these are a lot longer, I think. Yeah, they're like taller gloves, so they go up on your wrist a little bit more to keep you warm. And I just thought these were really cute. And the inside... They are so soft. Oh, I love them. I'm I'm so ready for colder weather. So, two pairs of gloves. And this was really cute. You guys know I have a thing for notebooks. I don't need any more notebooks. I just love them. Um, I may give this to Alden just to draw in or whatever, but I do really like it. I think it's really cute. It's holographic and it's a Halloween notebook. Happy Halloween, and I love skulls. Um, I think skulls are just really cool. They're creepy, but in a good way. So there's that. And these are for Alden's birthday. Typically, I just get some plain colored blow up balloons for us to just kind of kick around or throw around but I saw these confetti balloons and I grabbed these you get six of them um, I'm pretty excited for these I don't know if the confetti is like painted onto the balloon or if there's actual confetti in the balloons because I can't see the balloons because the packaging is covering them and I don't want to open them right now and then they don't have any number fives. They have like every other number but five. So it's really frustrating. But I did get a happy and a B-Day. <laughs> and with these, you just use this little stick right here to blow them up. So that's really nice. You don't need helium. You don't got to take them anywhere to have them blow them up for you. Um, and you could just hang them on ribbon. And even though we're not having a big party, I still like to decorate even a little bit just to make him feel special on his day, you know? So a few streamers here and there, balloons. I just want him to know that it's his day and we're celebrating him, you know? Okay, so I told you guys I can't really get decor when I'm with my fiance because he's gonna tell me I don't need that stuff. But you guys know that I do. But I did get a couple of things because like I said, we are moving in a couple of weeks. So I just wanna make, you know, our space cute and enjoyable you know so I just thought this was cute they had several different ones I can't remember what the other fall related ones said but there was a more Halloween one that said trick-or-treat this one just says welcome fall and I thought it was adorable there's like a gingham pattern all around it and there's corn and pumpkins and leaves on the side but I really liked it. I like the more fall over the Halloween 
because Halloween's more specific. I like fall in general and then just right into Christmas. These I'm very excited about. These I, I feel like would look cute on either side of something. I don't know what would be in the middle of it, but maybe I'll get some more decor sometime. But there are these two really cute pumpkin tea light holders. Um, there were only two left, so I got both of them. And to go in those, I got some toasted marshmallow tea lights. Now, when I originally saw these, I was like, oh, it's the dollar store. They're probably just going to have plain unscented tea lights. And that shows how much I know. Like, I don't buy candles. I don't really burn candles very often. But I do like to occasionally get, you know, the house smelling nice. Um, so I didn't know they would have amazing scented things. So I'm very excited to have the actual candle, and then the tea lights that smell like toasted marshmallows. So I'm pretty pumped for that stuff. Um, we'll do the rest of Alden's stuff. I did grab him some of these, like I said, to just throw in with his other presents because he loves these little blind boxes so much. I got him five and we have like eight out of the 12 on the back of the box. And of course the little like pamphlet on the inside shows like many, many more we don't have, but we already have a few of the pink monkeys. We have the leopard, the poodle, the kitty cat, the uh, not white, pink unicorn, the seal, the penguin, and the flamingo, and the flamingo is the cutest. Again, I know it's like not gonna focus on this, but we just, we, we're missing the Dalmatian, the, the owl. I really want him to get an owl. I think they're one of the cutest ones in here. The purple unicorn and the bear. So we're doing good. We do have a lot of repeats though, so that's a little downer, but he loves them nonetheless. Um, I also got him Paw Patrol figures because these are going to go on his cake. They don't have Mickey Mouse figures, they don't have Mario figures, and he said Paw Patrol. He switches his mind all the time, but we're going with Paw Patrol. So they have all the dogs, Zuma, Rocky, and Rubble. And Marshall, Chase, and Sky. So I figured I would just throw these in some hot soapy water, get them ready, and then they'll be all clean. And when I make his cake, I'll put the dogs on there and he'll have a cute little birthday cake. I remember when I was little, um, I don't remember what birthday it was, maybe my third birthday. My cousin and I were two weeks apart. She's two weeks older than me, but we always celebrated our birthdays together at my grandma's house, my other grandma. And um, we always had Barney, Barney birthday parties. We were obsessed with Barney. We, we had everything Barney. I had Barney bedding, shoes, sandals, swimsuits, clothes our birthday cake. Um, but I remember like it had little Barney figures on the cake. And I know you can't, I don't think you can buy cakes with little figures on them. So I don't know if like whoever bought that cake, if they bought figures to put on the cake. But I mean, I remember having a cake like that as a kid. So I think it's really fun. Um, okay. This stuff, um, I told you he loves puzzles, so I found a different puzzle that I haven't seen before. Usually they're all Marvel, like Avenger, superheroes, or there's always Paw Patrol. And I finally saw a different superhero, and it's actually my favorite superhero. So it's a Batman puzzle, and it's 100 pieces, so it'll be a lot harder than all the other puzzles. And I thought it was really cool looking. I'm very excited for this one. I, I love Batman. This one I thought would be fun, but he could also learn some stuff while we do it. It's a map of the United States. It's a 60 piece puzzle and each state it shows like what that state is known for. So like my state is the Gateway Arch, Nebraska is corn, 
Um, Wisconsin is cheese, so I thought that would just be really fun. This I saw last minute, but I thought it was cool, and he loves all things like work trucks or construction vehicles, and this is like a little activity thing, I guess. It's called a pop-outs, and it's Tonka, so it's, I don't know how many are in here. Okay, there's two pop-out trucks. Again, I don't know what that means, but he can color the trucks. There's three different markers in here, and it has stickers. I just thought he would enjoy this. And this isn't necessarily for his birthday. I just got it because I thought it was cool and I never saw it at the dollar store before. It is a Mickey Mouse comic book. Now it shows different ones on the back. It says collect them all. And there's a different Mickey Mouse one, a Toy Story, a Disney princess, and a Frozen one. Now I haven't seen any of these before. I only saw this one. I didn't see any other comic books while I was there. This was put in front of a coloring book. I didn't see any other comic books anywhere. So I just, I grabbed it because I saw it and it was the only one. Um, but I thought it was really cool. Like what little boy doesn't like comic books anyway? They're fun to read. They're fun to look at. And he enjoys, like he always wants me to read something to him. So I thought this could be fun. And I would love to collect more of these. I mean, and once he reads himself, I think he would really enjoy reading a comic book. I remember like back in the day when like collecting comic books was such a thing and I don't know if people do that anymore. Um, alright, I think I showed you guys all of that. Now, I'll move on to this stuff. Oh, I did also get a roll of happy birthday paper because the majority of my wrapping paper is Christmas. And I'd rather save that for Christmas so I don't have to buy more Christmas wrapping paper because, you know, that's how they get you. And they're so skimpy on their rolls. You get like this much paper and it's like $5 a roll. I like trying to find like the thickest roll of paper and I'll get like two or three different rolls of paper that because I don't like having all one paper wrapping every present. I hate the way that looks under the tree. I love different wrapping paper on all the presents. Obviously, I'll repeat it here and there, but I I grew up where my parents would always, you know, switch papers for all the presents, and I just, I really like that. Okay, like I said, since we are moving in a couple weeks, um, I got two of these bowls. I like this style, like cereal or soup bowl. It'd be really good for chili. Um, and now, I'm not, I don't need, like, good china or nice plates. I mean, I don't care about that stuff. I mean, as long as I have something to eat on, I'm happy. I don't need anything fancy. I could go to the thrift store for all I care. Like, I don't care what I have to use. You know what I mean? And it's not like people are going to be coming over to my house anyway, so I'm not trying to show off. I'm not, you know. So, dollar store bowls. They're really nicely made. It is microwave safe and dishwasher safe. I, again, I love this style bowl. I only got two for now. I got four plates, two of each kind. Um, but I will end up going back and getting like some more plates and some more bowls just to have a whole set. But for now, I just wanted to get like two of each, at least like me and my fiance will each have one. And Alden, of course, we give him plastic for now so that nothing breaks. But, and that's another thing. If any of this stuff ends up getting broken, it's not a big deal because I paid a dollar for each item. You know what I mean? I'll just go back to the dollar store and get more. It's not a big deal. They did have, they had this white, they had black, they had clear. The clear was kind of cool, but weird at the same time. Um, but I just went with the, the basic white plate. I, I do like to take pictures of my food sometimes. Not that my food ever looks pretty. I just like to document my dinners sometimes because I'm one of those people. These are my favorite. I got two of these square plates. And I mean, come on. You, you can't tell me that if you went to dinner at somebody's house and saw this, like, you would be like, oh, that's from the dollar store. You would have no idea. I think they're made really nicely. I think they look really nice. I don't care that they're from the dollar store. Um, I guess the company that makes them is Royal... Norfolk and again microwave and dishwasher safe 
but I really like the square look of these plates. I just think they look really, really nice. So again, I got two of these. I don't know how that guy wrapped them in these bags, but oh God, I'm messing it up. So there's that one and that one. And then I got two of the round ones. So again, I just, I think it looks really nice. They're a good size. Again, they don't look like they're from a dollar store, you know? And there's no like weird funky patterns on it. I don't mind plates with designs or anything, but I mean, I really just like the simpleness of these. So I'm very excited. Um, I, I don't I don't think they do anyway. I was going to say, obviously, they don't have silverware at the dollar store. But I do kind of want specific silverware that I'm going to look on Amazon for. I've seen people posting about it that they've gotten them from Amazon before. I'm just hoping they're not expensive. I'm going to get, like, the cheapest I can get. But, like... It's, I don't know what it's called, if it's called rainbow or holographic, um, but I mean, it's like rainbow or holographic looking silverware. It's really, really cool looking, like the shift of the colors and the light. There's like purple and blue, and um, I mean, if I got those, they would go with the plates because the plates are just plain white, so it's not like there's a funky design on the plates, and then I, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be all weird. I don't know. I really like those um that silver War set I've seen but it, it might be expensive so I may not get that I might just get plain old silverware again I'm just gonna get cheap stuff I don't need nice stuff I'm gonna eat with it I don't need to show off you know stuff I'm gonna eat with you know I'm just not a show-offy person and I don't know so yeah um I always enjoy going to the dollar store and I always enjoy showing you guys what I get. Um, again, everything is a dollar. So even if I do get stuff like to enjoy, whether it got cut off, uh, but whether it's makeup or whatever, um, I mean, everything's a dollar. You know what I mean? So I'm not spending five, 10, $20 on like one item. I'm getting a lot for my money, but um, and it's hard to not get some things that you're going to enjoy when you do go to the dollar store. So um, I, I got what I needed for Alden's birthday. I got some stuff for the house. And I did get a few things to enjoy, but I had to. I had to. But those caramels are to die for. I highly suggest them. Like I said, if you like caramel apple stuff or if you just like... Um, caramel give them a try I really liked them I don't suggest the pumpkin spice ones but I mean you might like them I definitely didn't um but yeah I'm gonna go put all of this away and hopefully go to bed soon I my head is hurting so bad I need to go put a little bit of peppermint oil on my temples maybe some on my wrist just so like when I lay down I can really smell it um and maybe take something so that it lessens my headache as I'm laying down but I'm about to get cut off so I will talk to you I keep getting cut off I'm getting so frustrated this has been happening for days and I know I have room on here because I've deleted any previous videos that I filmed so that I have room to keep making videos so I don't know what's going on but it's really frustrating so I don't know what I was saying, but I am going to try and go to bed soon, maybe take something for my headache, put a little peppermint oil on just to help lessen my headache, and get this headband off because it's driving me crazy. But um, yeah, hopefully I can go to bed soon. It is actually late because Alden did not fall asleep for me. It's 2.12 in the morning, and tomorrow I've got to get some stuff done and... um. Hopefully we can take Alden to the park tomorrow too. So um, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.